I have been borderline addicted to YFM, aka your favorite Martian. I've also been getting really, really into the song Somebody That I Used To Know. I absolutely love that song. I've been listening to the original, especially your favorite Martian's cover of that song. I absolutely adore that song. Oh, uh, we need to get rid of this guy ASAP. Um, and I listened to a few parodies, which are absolutely hilarious. Yeah, this is a song I really like. Ow. Oh yeah, being electrified does not affect enemies who, who have a shell, much like how Koops isn't affected by uh, many things. Yeah, Koopa Troopas are the same way. I've made a terrible mistake! I just realized shouldn't have done this. Super Guard Game, where are you at? Ouch, it was not here. Alright. Well, we paid for the mistake. I probably should have been a little bit more prepared. I know I have like three life shrooms, but probably should have been prepared with more readily available healing items. I really... Okay, I'm going to bring this up. I know I think I brought this up last week when I was during the... Uh, during Chapter 4, but your favorite Martian is one of my... Like, like I mentioned, it's one of my favorite bands. I know it's like just Ray William Johnson and whatever else you can find. It was usually Jesse Kale, but... Now it seems to be, um, I don't know if this is, is just an online alias or whatnot, a Cartoon Wax seems to be very involved with um, more modern songs. Oh yeah, Flower Fuzzy is another good example of things that cannot hurt us. So let's electrify Yoshi. Just in case. Um, yeah, oh, five turns, damn. Your Favorite Martian was a huge thing for my brother and our friend. I think... Friends, uh, maybe, uh, our buddies Austin and Dalton for sure. Austin for sure. Dalton, I'm not entirely sure if he was into YFM as much as we were or not, but. Congrats, you wasted your item on, first off, that wouldn't have done anything. Neither of us have a defense. And second of all, you missed because of the fog. Good job. Um, yeah. 2011 to 2012 when YFM was, like, starting out and they're big. Like, Ray William Johnson was huge back then. Um, that's what me and my brother listen to all the time. I absolutely love a lot of their songs. Like, I don't know. I could list some. I don't know how many people watching this would even know what YFM is. If you have... If you are curious... Why not go take a look? Just your favorite Martian on YouTube. Check out some of their songs. I love them. It's like my favorite band next to All American Rejects. Um, some of my... Well, my all-time favorite is a song called Club Villain, which is literally about... It's all... It's a song about how they go... Like His songs are usually told in the perspective of his cartoon band, what, which is your favorite Martian. It's a four-person band. Um, and it's usually, their songs are usually animated from the viewpoint of them. They usually sing, they're usually involved, some way or form. Ray's, Ray's persona in the band is named Puff, Puff Puff, it's a hilarious name. Um, and that's, the club villain is how, is about Puff Puff going to a, a discotheque that isn't, it's just crowded with all the of big villains, like... Bowser's there. Oh, they get damaged. Okay. Uh, Ganondorf, uh, Dr. Octopus, Venom, the Wicked Witch of the West from Dorf, uh, Wizard of Oz, um, Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. I'm trying to list off a few more. Like, you got, like, some of the classic D, like, Joker, um, Voldemort, Poison Ivy, like, oh, a few Batman villains, uh, Jab the Hutt. It's honestly, there's a, it's my favorite song for a reason, and I love just the, first off, the music itself is amazing, I absolutely love the song itself. Um, the references to the various villains is awesome. Another one I really like that I've been listening to a lot is Robot Bar Fight, which is kind of like the same pre premise, except instead of a club, it's a bar full of iconic robots, Megatron, Bender from Futurama, Mega Man... 
Uh, even though he, oh, Terminator, Robocop, Wally, -E. and even though he's not a robot, uh, they make reference to Dr. Eggman, but they go by his classic name of Dr. Robotnik, which I think is hilarious, and it makes sense because Eggman has a huge affinity for robots, and by affinity I mean he just, he's very much associated with robots. Um... Yeah, club uh, robot bar fight's one of my favorites. Um, one of them. Okay, I want. Let me focus on the uh, the uh, generation one songs first. Um, friend zone. It's in contrast. Like Ray will Ray's uh, song choice is usually comedic. Like he does a lot of funny based songs, but occasionally he does do some really. Really, like, more relationship-meaning ones, and it usually... Oh, wait, I'm going to use that drag term. They kind of tend to gear towards, tox like, the idea of toxic relationships, or in the one I'm about to mention, the friend zone, which is based on the idea of the friend zone. Like, you know, when you're, you really like a person, like, a, a person or friend, and you want to step up that relationship, but they just don't want to, so you're stuck in the friend zone. It's all that deal. It's such a really nice sounding song and I love it. It's not their comedic usual. Let's use this Mr. Softener. Um, I'm pretty sure Yoshi still can't do anything actually. Um, yeah, some of the some of them are like kind of like relationship based and I kind of find that kind of cool. They they sound just as good. Um Trying to think of some other ones. They did a bunch of covers actually at one point. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, one of them I've been listening to a lot. And it's my favorite of their covers is um, somebody that I used to know. Absolutely amazing. Some of their other, other covers include. Oh, hold on. I need to time this one. Bingo. Let's go. Get that full HP. Um, other covers that they've done, I think they've done Beastie Boys, uh, Fight for Your Right. They did, or he did, I guess. Um, they, I guess, because really, um, Jesse Kale was really involved. Um, they did High Voltage from Linkin Park, I believe their name, they're called. They did Eminem's and Rihanna's, uh, Love the Way You Lie. I probably should have played this battle out way better. So I'm just going to go ahead and Earth Tremor again, because I've... I was just using that Mr. Softener. It really, honestly, it didn't help as much as I wanted it to. Um, I don't really know a lot of the original bands. Like, a few of them I've, I've heard of, I've never listened to, obviously. I've heard of the Beastie Boys. I, I, Rihanna and uh, Eminem's uh, Love the Way You Lie is one of the few songs I heard beforehand. So I recognized that one. They did really good covers. Um, they also, like, all of their songs are, like, through animated music videos. And they're absolutely... First off, the second... They, they've gone through three animation style, three animation styles, like, the way their characters look. First, the first uh, style looked pretty basic. The second style was all... It's my favorite. I really would... I want to do a drawing, a fan art drawing of that. And then their third animation style, which is a part of their current songs like because they just revived they just got back into it Ray Soul sorted all the problems out and he's back on with songs I'll get to that in just a second but the third animation style is pretty good but I really like the uh, I like the second one a little bit more and by a little bit I mean a lot more um, the third group of songs that they've been posting uh, I think there's about five of them out now uh, two of them are actually sequels to one of the first songs he did which was called Orphan Tears um, they did a, a trilogy like almost like a story bit of songs for that and it's actually really funny and it's really cool and I love the music for it but or the third part is my favorite the song it's really cool and the, the lyrics just the lyrics flow really well but my favorite one is their most recent one it's called F This Job there's a reason why it's it says F because the main chorus just drops the F bomb, but 
I love the song, the instrument choice, the lyrics, the way it sounds. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely great song. Again, if you guys have never heard of your favorite Martian or Ray William Johnson, why not? Like, I'm telling you, go check it out. There's not... Well, actually, no. You don't have to. I don't like recommending music to people because I don't like it when people recommend music to me. In fact, I don't really like it when people recommend things to me at all because it makes me feel like I have to go and look at it. I'm not telling you you have to look at it. Not at all. Far from it. If you don't, that's fine. It's not up to me. I'm just I'm just explaining how much I really like your favorite Martian. I think that's my story topic for today. Um, let's hope I can get through 10 floors in 10 minutes. I doubt it. But I'm pretty sure I'll be taking more than a minute per battle. So this will be a little bit longer of an episode. Oh. Uh, and that para dark paratrooper has an HP plus badge. And you want to know what? It applies. So now it's got an HP stat of 13. Oh, it's a freight mask. I don't have any room in my goddamn inventory. Fucking beautiful. Oh yeah, and that thing behind, that's a babalk. Or a bulky bomb. Babalk is the other one. It is a massive bomb that doesn't attack. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. So bulky bombs don't directly attack. They prepare themselves to attack. And then they just explode. So they take four turns before they explode. They first boost their... They first light their fuse. Then they boost their defense by three. Then they boost their attack by three. And then they charge their attack by, I think, six. So you really don't want to let that thing last four turns and then explode. Because it's not good. Very, very much the opposite. Let me just go right back to the catalog. I know I'm not really helping our episode time here. Let me just go and quickly remind you that their base attack is two. Two, plus the three they get from boosting themselves, will bring it up to five. Then the uh, additional charge of six. And yeah. You're basically getting hit by a massive attack. I don't know why I just brought out Vivian. Very bad idea. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to attack this guy head on. Because I'll just pow block him with Vivian. Unlike the bombs, they do not, again, attacking them will make them start their fuse. Um, because they mandatorily do it themselves. Okay. Not cool. Only Mario got hit by that, but I guarded it. Um, yeah, the only reason why I was saying maybe it wasn't a good idea that I sent out Vivian here is because Vivian will... Vivian's attack kind of sets them off. And it seems like I might not have much of a choice. Well, then in that case, I'm sweet treating first. I don't even know if I'll be able to inflict a burn if I don't do any damage. But we'll find out. Luckily, though, if you set them off early, you're not getting the boosted attack power that they'd come with. So... We'll be taking four damage at the most. Because when you set one off, well, it explodes. And its explosion does hurt the partners. Which means that it sets the partners off. You basically start a chain reaction. As you will see right here. Oh, right. They just finished. Okay, so we took five damage because I just realized they boosted their attack. So... That was a dumb decision. Next time I do that, I'm boo shooting Mario. If I see any more than three bulky ball, if I see a perfect four, yeah. I'm going to set them all off and I'm going to boo shoot. 
All right, here's an enemy we'll be encountering in the next chapter. Actually, bulky bubble bombs are another enemy we'll be encountering in the next chapter. Lava bubbles. Formerly, well, in this game, they've always been known as lava bubbles. However, they were also originally known as potaboos back in the age of Mario Party. There, it is a terrible idea to confuse them, and it's a terrible idea to use fire drive on them. Because they're fire based, if they attack each other, they are going to heal each other. And if you they attack like if you attack them with flame, well obviously it's just going to. You know, it's gonna heal them anyway. Mario is still dying. So actually I just realized he's not gonna be a problem anymore. So we're headbonking him. Oh crap! Every single time I have that. Yeah, poison mushroom, bad bingo. Oof, we're in such a dodgy position. I did not come prepared for this. I should have. And unfortunately, a lot of the items we've been getting thanks to item hog have not been helpful in the slightest. Like, maybe a third of them have been useful in some shape or form. All the other ones... Nah. Tasty tonics and bolt shrooms are not useful. Oh my goodness. Oh, my super guarding is so off here. Okay, well... Goombella's gonna be taking, using up one of our life shrooms, unless I can get a super guard off, which I'm not really confident in myself at this point. Oh, blessed! Blessed I'm good at this game, finally. Yeah, we'll be going over episode time. This battle's taking us long enough. We, we're almost at a level up, though, so that's, that's good. And we're gonna need it. Please, maybe an item I can use. Well, okay, yeah, I'll take that. I could be greedy and ask for better, but beggars really can't be choosers. I'm going to use it on me. I'm going to double check what floor we're on. 43, oh gosh. All right. I really hope we... Oh, I'm going to have to tattle on enemies. And I can't be using Vivian because... Poison Pokies! If you maybe remember a few episodes ago when I mentioned that... Vivian can't attack Pokies. Because they're covered in spikes on the side. And yet, I need to finish these 10 floors right here right now because I can't save. And the only way to get out is every 10 floors. So, Poison Pokies. They poison you. What a big goddamn shocker, am I right? They have an attack power of four. So, we have a bit... A bit of a problem. Okay, good start. Not a good, not a good continuation. Yeah! Bang. Now we're poisoned. However, good news is Yoshi can still gulp these guys. We need to pull off some extra stylish moves. We're going to get a level up from this. Oh, another unique thing is that I'm pretty sure when you launch a segment off of these guys with the super hammer, yeah, it dealt three damage instead. Because getting knocked by a pokey segment apparently is a little more painful than getting knocked by an another enemy. You know what? Screw it. Gulp it. Because we're going to get a level up anyway. a boy, Yoshi. Way to pull through for us. If only Goombella was receiving this level up. But she's not. And I don't think partners get restored if they're not the ones out in the party when you get the level up. I'm doing this again. I kind of need it right now because I'm noticing that I am very... Normally I don't get rusty hit games, but this is definitely a clear exception. Again, I want to blame it on the mere fact that I can't hear my game very well. 
That's why I'm not doing my super guards very well. But I also can't deny that it's probably a bit of rust. Alright. This guy's these guys are gonna be a problem. There's five of them. So spiked parabuzzies. Allow me to introduce to you a nightmare if you do not have all the badges you're going to need for them. So, fire and explosives don't work because they're buzzies. This one flies in the air, so you can't hammer it. It has a spike, so you can't jump on it. Literally, the... Okay. Assuming you do not get the only badge that can effectively deal with these things... The only way to attack a spiked parabuzzy is through either an item or a special attack. I don't know why I used art attack. I'm an idiot. They have 5 HP. I could have gone with the other option. Wow, am I stupid. I wasn't thinking. I was too busy having fun explaining the pain and agony of spiked parabuzzies. Yeah. So you'd have to use an item or... A special move to effectively deal with a spiked parabuzzy. The only other way that you can really deal with them is the move, this badge called Spike Shield, which prevents you from taking damage from jumping on spiked enemies. It's a valuable badge to have, especially if you're going to run Danger Mario strategy, or if you're going to just run 10 HP and load your BP, unload BP on yourself. Hmm. Fiery Jinx. I know it's a dumb idea. But who cares? I'm only taking two damage this time. I actually can confirm that. Yeah. Um, Spike Shield is a badge that requires Vivian to get. It lets you jump it lets you jump on it, spiked enemies safely, so it is a good badge to have. But again, I'm not gonna get it right now because Spiked Parabuzzies are na native to Chapter 6. That's when I want to save that badge. So once we're done Chapter 5, that's when we're going to go and get it. And then we'll at least be able to effectively deal with Spiked Parabuzzies when we naturally encounter them. Alright. Now we, just, we still have a few more floors to go. Unfortunately, yeah, we are, this, today is going to be a long episode. Because I did not come prepared. Alright. Who's throwing what? It's a bone. You know. I kind of don't have much of a choice. I need to, um... I need to Earth Tremor. Because nobody... Nobody on my team can effectively get that thing on the ground. Because the only character I have that could theoretically deal with these guys is Yoshi. But the problem is, he can only deal with them if he doesn't have wings. And there's nobody on my team that can get those wings off. So, we're left with very little in terms of options to dealing with them. Let's do this, because I need to get rid of it. You're dead. And I don't take poison damage because the battle was over. Thank goodness. Oh, that'll be useful. It's not really the healing item I desperately need, but it's a healing item nonetheless. I think I might use... Mm, nah, because I don't think I'll be using Goombella at all for, throughout the rest of this. Lava Bubble. Coops. And a first strike. I'm not dealing with this boy again. Uh, oops. Power shovel, please. That's a solid damage across the board. We can take care of two of them. This is also kind of another reason why Coops is really good. Like I mentioned, dealing every dealing damage across the grounded board is very nice. Also, he's not that FP expensive either. 
which is really good. So, honestly, I think he's a better option right now because he can safely attack almost everything except, again, obviously spiked parabuzzies. But nobody can deal with those. Dried Shroom, thank you. I'll take it. Get these coins first. Not that I need them. I'm already at max. Uh, here, have it. <laughs> it's not going to help you very much, but... Better than it sitting in my inventory, doing nothing. Again, now that we've done all the tattling, I think now I can start actually... I, I think I should probably get a little more strategy of pure offense going. And I'm going to need to use... Um, This is annoying. Because I'm running low on SP. And I'm going to need it because I'm pretty sure we'll be facing another group of... Uh, unless this is the last floor. Ouch. Ouch. There we go. Coops. Appeal for me, please. I don't know if we'll be facing another full round of Spike Parabuzzies. But... We can't afford to be dealing with these two. Really, if I didn't use Art Attack that one time, I probably would have been in a lot better position of, in terms of my SP. This is the one thing that's very, very challenging about the Pit of Andre Trials. SP consumption. There are going to be times where you're taking too much damage and you need to rely on a special move to get through a battle. You're not going to be able to do that if you, um, with your low SP. You're not going to be able to do that regularly, at least. I'm going to go with the guard, simply because that won't poison me. And Coops already has a defense, so... It's not a bad option for Coops. Coops kind of acts as a really good defensive shield. Having a defense... Have, being the only partner to have a natural defense of one... It's really good, and on top of that... Like, well, unfortunately, he does not cap at a lot of HP. As far as I'm concerned, 35 might be his max. Okay, we made it. We only went seven minutes over, but we did it. And we got the strange stack, so now we can carry 20 items. We're getting out of here, unfortunately. As much as I would love to continue, I'm not prepared for that. So, we're going to head out. We're now right where we need to be for the next episode. So, I will see you guys next time where we will be starting Chapter 5, and we will be going... To a new location. I'm not going to reveal where it is. Unless you already know. You probably already know if you've already played this game or watched this game. So we'll see you guys next time.